very scary man could begin his path out of prison on Halloween. The Ohio Parole Board will hear the case of James A. Finley. Finley's been locked up since 1970 for the murder and mutilation of Cheryl Siegel. In a story you'll only see here on Local 12 News, Rich Jaffe says those who know Finley and knew Siegel are still living in fear. And we have to warn you, you may find this story disturbing. In October of 1970, 16-year-old Cheryl Siegel and a girlfriend accepted a ride from ex-con James Finley. He picked the girls up outside what used to be the Firefly Bar here on West McMillan. Siegel lived with her mother in this Roselawn house. She never made it home. While her girlfriend was dropped off at her house, Siegel's mutilated body was found along the banks of Gregory Creek in Butler County. There's very little about that case that I don't vividly remember. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser was a rookie law clerk in the courtroom when James Finley went to trial for Siegel's murder. The cruelty, the barbarism of James Finley in the death of this young lady was horrific. But it wasn't just a killing, it was a destruction of a body, of an individual. When he was arrested at an apartment in this Carthage home a few days after the murder, Finley claimed he was innocent. But his story unraveled quickly at trial as the jury came to grips with the picture of a sadistic, brutal killer. According to the Butler County Coroner, Cheryl Siegel died from a single 25 caliber gunshot wound to the brain. After she was dead, though, James Finley went to work on her body. According to the coroner's report, Siegel's throat had a slash from left to right. She also had a long slice from her shoulder all the way down to her thigh. She also had a Z carved into her abdomen. And then it got even worse. I'll never forget the photograph of this young lady lying on her back, her breasts exposed, and her nipples cut off. They were cut off as souvenirs by this defendant, James Finley. Originally sentenced to death, Finley's sentence was changed to life in prison, and he's now up for parole October 31st. Cheryl Siegel's friends and family have spent the last four decades living in fear, with good reason. Finley was connected to a motorcycle club or gang that has then, or had then, and has to this day a reputation for extreme violence. The Iron Horsemen. They're still out there. They know it. The family knows it. They're intimidated by it. And they are in fear of reprisals. They're afraid of both Finley and his friends. That he had murdered this young lady only for the purpose of getting a patch for his motorcycle jacket, for his, what they refer to as their colors. In contrast to that image, in 2011, James Finley posted this picture on a website that solicits pen pals for prisoners. A classic case of an individual who is beyond redemption. Moser found out about Finley's parole hearing from Columbus Victims Advocate Brett Vinoker. He runs a website called blockparole.com. While parole officials say they sent Moser this legally required notice of the hearing, Moser says neither he nor anyone in his office received it. That means Finley's parole hearing might have gone uncontested had it not been for Vinoker. When the prosecutor heard about Finley's possible parole, he wrote a powerful letter of protest to the board. I know there's photographs of him in the institution with his arms around a golden retriever, and I think that that's just swell. I want him to stay there and continue doing that. I don't want him out in public again, period. In Butler County, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. At one point, James Finley was just hours away from being executed. Blockparole.com has more information about the case. It also has an online petition that you can sign if you want the parole board members to keep Finley behind bars. We've set up a link on our website at local12.com. Click on the red Get It button. And Finley isn't the only local murderer sentenced to life in prison who could get out of prison early. Deborah Dixon will have that story tomorrow on Local 12 News Live at 6.